Queen's Gambit accepted, Mannheim variation, 4, c65.qxc4. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. Both players navigated the middle game well. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. Nf3 strengthens the d4 piece and moves the knight closer to the center while exerting more control over the e5 square. The center's d5 square expands and obtains control of the e4 and c4 squares. When c6 is played, the d5 pawn is supported and the queen can grow on the queen side. Qb3 develops the queen and defends the pawn on c4. It is a fair deal after all captures. Recaptures. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is the last book move. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to kick a queen. It is good. This misses an opportunity to kick a bishop. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is an inaccuracy. A pawn kicks the opposing queen, forcing her to move or risk being captured. It is quite good. The queen is therefore moved to safety. That's good. When the queen retreats, this attack wins a tempo. It is quite good. The queen is therefore moved to safety. That's good. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. That's good. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. When a rook retreats, this attack wins a tempo. This poses a risk of winning a rook. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is quite good. This ignores a more effective method for getting a rook to safety. It is incorrect. There is a better way to get a bishop to safety than this. It is incorrect. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. That falls flat. The rook is now in a safe position. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. This threatens to fork pieces. It is a great move. This misses a chance to link together rooks. It is incorrect. This wins a tempo by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. This is the only good move. It is a great move. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is ideal. This reveals a rook attack. It is quite good. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. This wins material. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This moves the rook to safety. It is excellent. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. Both players navigated the middle game well. Black had an advantage, but now the game is close to equal. It is a mistake. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. Both players navigated the middle game well.